We're now getting a live view inside the International Space Station flight control room where the team has been monitoring the systems aboard the uh, space station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 33 crew members. Leading the Orbit 2 team here in the station flight control room today is Flight Director Chris Edelin, shown here in the blue shirt and next to him. Serving as CAPCOM is NASA astronaut Kate Rubens, who has been relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Now aboard the International Space Station is commander of the complex, NASA astronaut Sunny Williams, with flight engineers Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko and Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide. Williams, Malenchenko, and Hoshide arrived at the International Space Station after docking their Soyuz spacecraft TMA-05M to the Rossviet module on July 16th. Today they complete 83 days in space. The uh, space station with its crew aboard is flying at an altitude of a little more than 260 statute miles. The orbiting facility is making a uh, northeastern turn. Just now coming across uh, Madagascar and uh, will eventually pass across the Arabian Sea and uh, India. The Expedition 33 crew members kicked off the day with the first of two daily planning conferences with ground controllers around the world to review the day's activities and plan for the next set of tasks. Topping the news for today for the uh, International Space Station, a set of small amateur radio satellites that hitched a ride to the orbiting complex aboard the Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle back in late July are being released into space that uh, demonstrates another capability of the space station, as well as the uh, science each satellite is dedicated to research. Just a couple of weeks ago, flight engineer Aki Hoshide had mounted the uh, small satellites known as CubeSats in the uh, Japanese experiment module's small satellite orbital deployer that is being used to release the satellites. The satellites were affixed to a slide table that carried them through the airlock. Thank you very much. With hatches closed on the station side, Hoshide commanded the slide table through the airlock and the hatches open to the uh, space side. And in a choreographed steps between Hoshide and flight controllers on the ground, they uh, commanded the Japanese experiment module's remote manipulator system, or the uh, robotic arm, to grapple the extended slide table. Aki then uh, released the lock that holds the multi-purpose experiment platform onto the table. The arm extracted the deployer from the slide table, and Hoshide then retracted the table back into the airlock. The robotic arm was then moved to a deploy position that doesn't interfere with the space station. That a small satellite orbital deployer has two pods, or chutes, that uh, holds up to three satellites. There are a total of five satellites. Flight engineer Hoshide then worked with the ground to command the release of the first two satellites. The first satellite was released in orbit about a half hour ago. After a, a countdown from 3 to launch at 9.37 a.m. Central Time, Hoshide then sent congratulations to the team on the successful deployment on the uh, 55th anniversary of Sputnik 1 the first satellite ever to be launched into space by the Russians that initiated the Great Space Race. Meanwhile, today, Commander Williams had performed a uh, test of the COTS UHF communications unit that works in sync with the Dragon crew command panel in advance of the pending arrival of the Dragon spacecraft to arrive at the station on uh, October 10th. The communications unit it's an avionics box that uh, plugs into the station to allow communication between the station through its antennas and the SpaceX Dragon by converting and relaying signals between the two spacecraft. The crew command panel then allows the space station crew to interact with the Dragon spacecraft. That uh, spacecraft being referred to as the SpaceX CRS-1 mission will be the first commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. The Dragon caps capsule that will be atop a uh, Falcon 9 rocket will roll out to the pad for liftoff mid-morning on Sunday, followed by a launch that evening on October 7th at 7.35 p.m. Central Time, 8.35 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Commander Williams also has a uh, robotics training session here today for a Dragon Grapple that is scheduled to occur next week at 7.32 a.m. Central Time on uh, October 10, when the uh, spacecraft arrives at the International Space Station. Earlier this morning, Commander Williams had installed a jumper between a remote power control module is essentially a uh, circuit breaker and the lab control electronics unit. Williams also had measured the uh, air velocity in node 1, node 3, cupola in the lab. She then uh, had joined her today for this morning's small satellite deploy. And flight engineer Hoshide had worked to uh, depress the Japanese experiment module airlock and extend that airlock slide table for the ground to operate the uh, Japanese robotic arm to grapple that multi-purpose experiment platform carrying those uh, satellites in preparation for this morning's small satellite deploy. Again, that first satellite just occurred at 9.37 a.m. Central Time this morning. The uh, remaining three satellites are scheduled to be released during this morning's broadcast here at about 30 minutes from now. And also, Hoshide had uh, powered up the Cupola Robotics workstations, checked out the lab in the Cupola Robotics workstation. He uh, had worked to replace the filter and the potable water dispenser earlier this morning and uh, participated and will participate in that onboard uh, robotics training session with Commander Williams. Again, this is in advance of the Dragon's spacecraft arrival next week on October 10th. That uh, launch again is scheduled to take place this Sunday on October 7th at 7.35 p.m. Central Time. And each of the crew members will put in their uh, daily two hours of exercise using onboard gym equipment that includes a station bicycle, a treadmill, and an advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. The crew will then wrap up the day with a final daily planning conference with the ground and is scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.